Hey, yo, cheetah. There's a really cute girl right there, and I just want to meet her. Oh, shoot, we're recording. Um, gotta make sure the jewelry's on point. Gotta make sure the hardware looks good. Let's get it. Friday night, boy, baby, let's go! Anyway, this channel is gonna be about fashion going to be about avant-garde styling, it's going to be about unsafe proportions, fashion tips, and pretty much clothes in general, my biggest hobby. The goal of this channel is to hopefully help people break out of their comfort zone, make people see that there's other sides to fashion than just your typical menswear, your typical streetwear. I also want to share what I've learned throughout the years. There's been a lot of people in my life that said, dude, you can't wear that, or this certain thing just doesn't look good on me. And there are definitely ways around certain things and little tips and tricks about styling and fashion that I have learned through the internet, my other friends, just, and I want to share it to you guys. So first video is going to be about how I built my wardrobe and it took me years to get to where my wardrobe is now and I want to share that process with you guys. First step that I always tell people is getting the bottoms right. Pants, trousers, shorts, whatever you want to call it. This is essential. Switching over to the b-roll here. The number one reason I choose to go bottoms first is because you can easily switch up the vibe of your outfit, the proportions of your outfit, the balance of your outfit with just one garment. What I look for in a pair of bottoms, the first thing I actually look for besides the waist and the length is the rise. I love looking at the rise. I love a high rise especially because you can switch it up, you can make it look cropped, you can make it hit at the ankle, you could make your legs look longer. For example, these Yoji trousers right here, I pulled them high up on the waist to show off that tall shaft of the boot. And if I was wearing a loafer or something and I wanted to show that length of the trouser instead I could just lower it lower the rise and it would work well with the low top loafer so many options when you have a high rise when shopping for bottoms I tend to go for those easy colors black mainly for me because I find with one color or any neutral color it's just easier for me to mix and match any trouser, bottom, denim, shorts that I buy will literally go with any top that I have because it's similar color. If you're building a wardrobe, I suggest with just going neutrals. Don't buy any crazy prints. The crazy prints, I feel as if you just won't get a lot of wear out of. You can't mix it match as well. So if I bought something with a huge print in the front, people would know that I wore those pants two times, three times out of the week. Whereas if I just had a plain black pant, then it's easier to wear it every day, if that makes sense. A good rule of thumb that I try to follow is if this one piece that I'm about to buy doesn't go with at least three things in my wardrobe, then I'm not going to buy it. For example, if I buy a boot, then it better work with at least three pairs of pants. If it only works with one pair, then it's not worth it. My biggest tip is try to get these secondhand. Invest in these pieces. I firmly believe that clothes aren't meant to be cheap. Yes, it's going to be expensive, but trust me, I think it's 100% worth it. The amount of wear that I've gotten from these ass stairs right here is disgusting. I've worn vintage shirts over it on the, in the summer. I've worn it in the winter with coats. I've worn it all 
of fall it literally goes with all the fits that i have so worth it in my opinion so your next step is going to be planning what you're going to buy i think in this phase you could start with a rotation of two to three pairs of bottoms research the retail price research the resale price wait for a sale a hundred percent of the time these clothes aren't worth it at their full price they usually go on sale 50 percent off 70 percent off 80 percent off like you can easily get them for way cheaper when you have a solid two to three pairs in your rotation i recommend going over to the boots I'm gonna keep it 100 and I'm not even gonna try to sugarcoat it. Boots for me was the most expensive. Invest in your boots, man. Invest in the boots and invest in the bottoms. If you're gonna splurge on any part of your wardrobe, I recommend bottoms and boots. Same principle when it comes to the first step. Make sure you have two or three in your rotation. Make sure that the boot will go with at least three pairs of pants and stick to neutrals. For me, obviously, I chose black. Again, don't buy them full retail <laughs> unless you got it like that. Sales, second hand, find the plug, best way to go about it. Once you have the foundation of bottoms and footwear built, now you can go for tops, shirts, button-ups, tees, hoodies, coats, etc. And guess what? You literally repeat the process in steps one and two. What I look for in a top, like I said, I go for unsafe proportions. So anything that's cropped at the waist or anything that's super long. I love wearing... A drop crotch to shorten my legs even more and then wearing a long shirt to really make my upper torso look weird as heck yeah the reason I put tops on step three is because I just feel like they get dirty faster bottoms I can get a lot more wear before wash so yeah bottoms first accessories man these can get expensive too especially if you're going for that 925 heavyweight silver i started with stainless steel first and then i slowly switched each piece out to silver just because stainless steel was cheaper again don't rush this like it was really fun for me to switch out each piece one ring at a time it took me years to acquire these pieces for the accessories i kind of just bought them along the way of the whole process but you can pretty much wait till the end for them yo that's gonna be it for my very first video that's freaking wild um i hope i hope you guys learned something or a takeaway from that if you did subscribe help me out how about your boy I'm going to end the video with a little New York City vlog. Peace out, guys. <laughs> yeah. The best part about sitting in the airport is people watching. So I'm about to people watch. I bet there are people watching you, too. <laughs> a bunch of whack fits out here. <laughs> See you in New York. <laughs>
Day two. what happens when you sit in the classroom for too long. Yo, what do you know about Arcteryx? <laughs> Just an upcoming streetwear brand. <laughs> Arcteryx. <laughs> Yo, so we were just in Zara and I just got asked twice if I work there. Does that mean my fits are mid? <laughs> Yo, my bits are new. <laughs> yeah. This is a video, by the way. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Ah, look at how much fun! Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Eight. Seven. Oh, yes. Seven. The chapstick. Russell. Yeah, guys. Russell's like. Oh, good. Oh, good to me. <laughs> Yo, look who I found in New York. What's up? What's up? <laughs> 
Look who I found. And throwing the sandwich all on the ground. On the and it train. seemed like that sandwich yeah. went on forever. He seemed like he was eating that sandwich for like 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Like I was like, where is the sandwich coming from? He just keeps eating it and throwing it on the ground. It was disgusting. It was so fucking the gross. Train, the train is wild. It's like yeah. stupid. Yeah. What made you do it? Yeah. Um, I love seafood and I've always loved seafood. And I feel like this isn't really an animal, you know? I agree. You agree? As long as he's agreed. As long as he agrees. Then we're good. So, now for, okay. And I've told her if it was going to be anything, it was going to be. It was going to be. Did I not say it was going to be a clam? Do you slurp it? What do you mean? The best way. Oh, full slurp. No. Wow. <laughs> Same. Yo, Isa. Isa, I'm gonna tell you this. It's because I had a couple drinks, dude. Dude, you look buff. You look buff as hell. I need you to start hitting those legs, man. You need to start hitting the legs. Legs. You gotta work out legs, bro. Outfit to New York. <laughs> you know what? If you want to step, stand on the top step right here until she's finished with them. Oh man, I want my muscles. Soho, if my good friends Russ, Jen, and Benjamin take us there, Tokyo 7. I mean, there's just so many stores that we just ran out of time. It was complete madness and craziness. My feet hurt. I took Gweedies. I took like 30 miles on the Gweedies, which was a terrible idea. Too many blisters, too many corns, too many calluses. Ended up going to the Natural History Museum. Again, we had so much stuff in our itinerary, but it's too much. New York is too much. I don't know how you live here. There's birds the size of rats. And yeah, we're gonna come back though. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna drink my water. Hey! Goodbye, New York. We'll be back.